What's happening, y'all? Welcome to my little show. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I want to address some things. Um, tonight's show is about um loyalty. Is one thing. Is um, I, I say this a thousand times. If you're out there, you know, dating somebody, man, listen. My mama always told me, and it was a true thing she told me as a kid. She said, never turn your heaven into hell. And she said, you know where your heaven is? And I said, where? She said, wherever you live at, your home. If you in a home and you living with a woman, don't never let her cheat, but you don't cheat. Or if you do cheat, make sure she cheating first. But you don't go and be the first one to initiate the wrongdoing. Because... When you do wrong to people, especially women, they come back and get in your ass. So the best thing to do is to keep it real. It's, it's, it's fucked up, but you have to keep it real with them. And to the males out there, you have to keep it real with the women. But when the women fuck up, you you, you don't need to really even cheat on them. You just need to dep- you need to make a decision. Are you going to deal with it or are you going to leave? And that decision probably means you need to leave because there's no sense in re re fucking up your feelings, you know. And in relationships, you know, uh, people when people do stuff to people, see, uh, right now, like I'm not dating anybody. I'm not even trying to have sex with nobody. I'm celibate, to be honest. And it's very hard. It's hard to do. It's hard to do because there's a lot of temptations. But I was told this, and I've seen it. It's one thing for somebody to tell you something. It's another thing for somebody to tell you something that you can see. And they was like, well, do you know that when you have sex with a woman and you go inside of her, it's like, it's spirits. Like, whatever she going through, that's on you. So it's like, when you, so it's like I have sex with women and shit start happening. Then you have a lot of women that's on top of the evil spirits that's in them. Then you have to deal with what are they affiliated with? What organization are they affiliated with? Because they might be affiliated with an organization that be like, hey man, I want you to get him locked up. Or I want you to just, they play games with your mind. It ain't the women. We think it's the women, but it's the people that's the, the, the people that's working through these people. And they have you up, down, and control. And I, I don't have time for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm on some grown man shit. And I keep myself busy. Like, I've been having a studio for, I say, probably about eight years. But I was young and I didn't have a, I, I, I was always losing shit. I was, I'm going to sell the studio. But I own the, I own the, um, the program. Meaning that I own this program for life So I can sell a computer And all of the studio equipment But once I get that equipment back again Purchase it or however I get it Then I can just reprogram the studio Back into the thing So I own the I own the I basically have a studio for life So it doesn't matter So but The thing about it is like, it's like, if you could play football, if you, whatever that you dream to do, if you could actually do it, you would do a lot of it. Like, what if you wanted to eat ice cream all day? Your favorite thing to do is eat ice cream in the summertime. If you had the time and the money and all that shit to do it, man, you would be an ice cream mean motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I've always been good at music. So, it's like, once I figured out, like, I'm, I'm going to tell you what, like, the, when I first got my studio, my first time buying my studio, I bought this two thousand dollar microphone. It was a blue, it was a blue spark, beautiful, it's platinum, and I couldn't hook the motherfucker up. I couldn't hook it up. I went about all the expensive ass, the interface, all this shit. I couldn't hook it up. So I went and talked to this lady uh, that was in the worked in the office where I lived at, and we was real good friends. She was a um. A older white lady, you know what I'm saying? She was real cool. Um, 
So I went in one day and she was like, what are you doing? I was like, man, I'm trying to hook the studio up, man, this microphone. I don't know how to hook this motherfucker up. So she says, get a 15-year-old. And I'm, I'm thinking, man, like, is, is she is she got jokes? Is she, like, clowning me, talking about get a 15-year-old? And I was like, what do you mean get a 15-year-old? And she said, well, a 15-year-old can hook up anything, which they can. So... Uh, at that time, uh, I used to be over at people's house and their grandmother, their mother would call the kid, an eight-year-old in, to show them how to program their phone and shit. And I'm like, God damn. But um, it was true. But I never could figure out how to hook the microphone up, so I just would make beats. like, And so I, I had to sell it or whatever. But I, I just, I never went and tried to get another microphone. I just said, okay, I just, you know, just forget that. I, I started off making decent beats, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to make beats for now, and then just let it come, let the microphone come, so the microphone came, I figured out, I got an easier one that I could hook up, so, uh, you know, technology got better, so I can, boom, I can easily access, you know, this was professional shit, it's, I still own some professional shit, but technology didn't got, like, that much better, where you can, um, it's more easier to do, and, um, I'm saying that to say this, you know, I always wanted to have a full studio, like, put a, probably, I've been having my studio for probably about eight years, for probably the seven years I made beats, that's how I become, became very good at making beats, is because I used to make beats, I would never record, uh, um, so, it's something that I like to do, so I make a lot of music. You know what I'm saying? I made a song tonight called, uh, shit. <laughs> uh, it's a miracle. That's the name of the song. But it's going to be out in probably about another two hours. So, um, so in relationships, um, it's like, you might like to go play basketball. And your girl be like, oh, man, all you want to do is play basketball. All you want to do... I understand about a female arguing with a man over playing video games. Because you got to look at it. You a grown-ass man that want to sit at home. Man, listen. If you ain't playing video games getting paid, you don't need to be playing no, no video game. I quit playing... I love playing video games. It was something that I never had when I was a kid. I never had, I was the last person to get a Nintendo, and somebody had to get a new game and give me their old Nintendo. That's how I got my first Nintendo. So, when I grew up, I loved playing video games because I never could play them as a kid. But one day, I had to realize, man, bro, you sitting up playing motherfucking video games, and you got all these motherfucking problems, bro. You not rich. You got rent coming up. Nigga, you just got out of jail. You feel what I'm saying? Motherfuckers want to kick your ass. You know what I mean? Your girl want to stab you. You know what I mean, bro? You got all these... The last... Why, why would you play video games if you're not, like, super rich? Or you're not getting paid off of playing video games? I quit playing video games. Like, I even would become, become tempted sometimes. I'd be like, uh, I should... And I'd be like, nope. Because in that time that I'm making video games... I mean, I'm playing video games... I could be doing something like, like now, this is what I do now. All day, I work on things to make myself better. Like, it's, it's a lot of people that owe, it's a lot of businesses that owe me money. So, I'm taking the time out to say, hey, give me my motherfucking money. Even though, when I hit your Gmail, you tell my, oh, this ain't the right Gmail, but it got your motherfucking name on it. But I already know you're going to play these games, then you're going to give me the right Gmail, then I'm going to get the money. But it's a lot of things that I need to do that, you know, it's like when we get money, we go buy stuff that we ain't never had, you know, so it's like, that's all. Now it's time to do things that you never done, like get your life in order, go pay your bills. Like I want to pay the bill today, you know what I'm saying? And I got to go pay another one tomorrow. But I take that time out to do something that's going to benefit me. Pay a bill or go try to make some money or try to come up with a plan or the future for me and whoever that's with me. You know what I mean? And so with a woman, you know, it's like, you know, um, I don't, it's like 
you don't never chase women. Like women always think that men are out cheating on them. That's the man that's in your organization that does that. I don't do, like I'm a normal man. I'm not I, nobody fucking telling me, hey man, uh, uh, go cheat on every bitch, go break her heart. That's what's going on. People dating people and motherfuckers is telling them to break their heart. Like they isn't organizations. And the organization said, man, fuck them. They not one of us. Even if you is one of them, they still playing mind games with you. So I didn't realize that that majority girls that I dated were sent by gangs or organizations or the police department. So it's all bullshit to put, manipulate my mind and play with my mind. So I, I understand that any girl that I probably date is a fucking agent. So if you know that any girl that you fucking date is an agent, why date them? And even and, and most importantly, why even have sex with a motherfucker like that? You know what I mean? I had to realize that just like quit playing video games. Quit having sex with motherfuckers that you know don't mean you no good. You meet a stripper in the club, she want to go fuck, tell that bitch I'm good. Because, I mean, listen, you getting your rocks off, right? You want to have, you, you know, your dick hard, your horny. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to pay for that. This motherfucker could take you in the room, see you got some money, make a drop on you. Hey, motherfucker got money over here. Or a motherfucker could be then caught a case and got to get another case and be like, and be a snitch and be like, as soon as you fuck her, oh, he raped me. I got a case. So it don't matter with a snitch. As long as they get a case, that's all that matters. It don't matter if they make it up. The police don't give a fuck about these motherfucking snitches lying. They don't give a fuck about them lying. All they care about is the lie. Can a lie get? Can, can a lie lead to a conviction? That's all the police care about. Can I know this motherfucking lie? But can this lie lead to a conviction? Well, we can get paid. I can get paid. Snitch can get paid, and the real nigga can pay for pay our taxes, basically, by going to jail. So, I right now I'm at a level that I'm really high in my life, and you know, I, I just don't. I don't date. It's it's like I can't date because the only thing I want to do is just get one girl and just that's what I always wanted to do all my life, but I never could do it. But that's all I wanted to do is get one girl and just say forget it, and me and her be happy. I do whatever I can for her to make her happy. She makes me happy. We have some kids. We get money. I'm not gonna worry about these lights, but we get money together. We go on picnics together. God damn it, this son of a bitch. But um, we go we go on picnics together. We go on outings together. We go and have fun. You know, you can have a whole lot of fun with you and your girlfriend. Like you don't have to be with your homeboys all the time. You know what I'm saying? You can have fun with you and your girlfriend. That's I have a whole lot of fun just me and her on uh, sitting up on a day. Just chilling, like, you know what I mean? It could be a Sunday. We could just be laid up on the couch just chilling. I could be playing with our feet because I like girls who are pretty. Well, anyway. Well, um, you know what I'm saying? We could just chill, you know what I'm saying? Just, like, that's what love is. Love, it don't matter. Like, you get time apart because you got to go do what you got to do and she got to do what she got to do and y'all come back together. You know what I'm saying? So y'all going to get y'all time apart. Or if y'all around each other so much, you can go and take a walk. And be, uh, go do some activities, go outside, mow the yard, get the fuck away from her for a minute, and then come back. You know what I mean? You know, I, I learned, some somebody always told me about this rule, it's called the KISS rule. And the KISS rule is K-I-S-S, -S, KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. And why are you stupid? Because you gotta be stupid to make something complicated that's simple. Like, who would do that? Like, that's a waste of time and shit. You can, I, I could fucking take this, I could, I could fucking, I could fucking, I could take this shit, this, this germix, and squeeze it in my hand and sanitize it, or I could sit there and look at the motherfucker all day and, and with dirty hands. You know what I'm saying? It's simple. You know, don't make something complex. A relationship is simple, and it's to benefit you. It's to make your life better, because two heads are better than one. If you got two heads that that's adds up to one, then you need to get rid of the motherfucker. That's a that's weight. But I'm out of here, man. Yo, I got to go, man. Y'all, y'all, peace up. Eight time now. Thanks for tuning into the show. We out.